Welcome to the Mandy Marvelous YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to install Jeep LED fog lights onto your GR Impreza WRX hatches and sedans. Uh, one of these, the driver's side is actually flipped upside down in this little clip right here, but I'll fix that later on. Here's a good comprehensive how-to. Enjoy! Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks! Alright, howdy there folks. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you a really quick way to save you some money and also improve the visibility that you will get from your GR Impreza WRXs and STIs. A lot of you might realize that our fog lights, um, they have glass lenses at the bottom. Yes, I know that that's a terrible idea. They also cost $200 for a set of brand new ones. So, what can you do? You can either buy new ones, you can buy cheapo Chinese ones, or you can buy one of these. These are Jeep Wrangler LEDs. They fit the stock wiring harness that we have in our Imprezas. It requires some but minimal modification to our stock fog light brackets. So this is a stock bracket. This is what it looks like from the factory. This one right here is the right side. It would be mounted over on the right side of the bumper if you're looking from the inside. What we're gonna do with this is cut it to fit this Jeep fog light inside of it. Everything you see here on this one is what would have been on this one before I cut it out. Quick little aside, I want to apologize for the camera angle. I normally don't wear a GoPro on my head. So let's take some quick notes here. Um, let's do them facing upwards. So that's facing upwards. Put that on the right. So this is the right side or the passenger side. This is the driver's side if we're in the United States. What you need to do is cut out this area to fit this stock uh, adjustment screw is very important because that's also going to keep the fog light within the unit without having it fall out. So you're going to go ahead and cut out right here and down here, pretty much all the way down to this area, and just clean this out to right about right there. So right there. After you're done cutting out this area and down to here, you're going to want to cut right in this spot right here, just a little notch, so that this fin will fit right in there, like that. Because that's where the screw is gonna go from the top of this right here. These are facing upwards in the car. This is the driver's side, this is the passenger side. As you can see, you're gonna cut about that much out of these. You wanna note that this can sit straight both this way and this way as we live in a three-dimensional world. Something that I seem to forget sometimes because, you know, six IQ and whatnot. Last thing, drilling and finishing. And then we can put everything together and go mount it up on the car and be done. Now what we need is these tools, very simple. This is just to tighten down our mounting screws for the car. As you can see, this is actually the way that we adjust the position. Just a little note for everyone, what I'm doing here is actually shortening or compressing the spring so that it will fit inside of the modified housing that we're making. Nice. You're gonna wanna squeeze these down a little bit because it will help with getting them to fit properly. 
I want an eight millimeter, I want a muscle. There you go. The right tool makes every job easy, folks, so just know that. So what I'm doing here is cutting out more of the stock housing to fit the Jeep fog light. There was a little bit more that I had to cut out, so you can stop the video and see what's going on here if you'd like, zoom in a little bit. It sits on an unlevel field there. Then, get that. Look at us, we're almost professional. Isn't that crazy? To be almost professional? Some can dream, others can do. But what we do, we create. If it fits, it sits. All right, that's it. That's how you mount them up. It's really simple. So let's go put these on the car and see what it looks like. Right here I noticed that the fog light isn't fitting properly on one of the sides and that's because the fog lights are built the same exact way regardless on if they're a passenger or driver's side fog light, which means one of them's upside down. That's why it fits so shitty. I'm sorry folks, it appears as though I um, lost some IQ in the process of making this. So, this is the driver's side mount, um, and as you can see it's very zip tied and I actually flipped it 180 degrees. These two fog lights are actually directional. If you mount them on upside down, they will point up at the sky no matter how much you try to point them at the ground. Flip them upside down or the correct way for the driver's side. We're not gonna be using the screw in a normal way. We're just gonna be using that as a mount to put some zip ties onto, then zip tie around it and the body like that. It will keep it in there because of the factory studs that come out of this fog light. So it won't fall out, it's very safe, but um, yeah, the adjustment is going to be pretty much just wedging your hand in there and manhandling it. I did notice that these are like a thousand times brighter than the stock GR Impreza halogen housings. With this mixed in, it'll make for a nice driving budget way to make your car safer to drive at night. Also, they look kind of cool. And I guess these are made out of plastic. And if one of these breaks, like big whoop, 40 bucks, and you get the power of this, a small sun. Let's go mount these up and see what it looks like. All right, here they are installed in the car. They seem to fit pretty well. They're very sturdy. Let me give you a decent under view of what it looks like behind. So you just have to do those two screws up. A little note. For when you're wiring these up actually flip it the other way around so that the tab is facing outwards because the leds only work with the current moving through them one way and it's just backwards because china or something if you don't wire them incorrectly then this is what's going to happen they just won't turn on so go back wire them in the proper way which is the unintuitive way because i know you'd want them to be clicked in but it just doesn't work that way That's all I had for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this instructional slash, I don't know what you want to call it. I noticed that there was no video on how to um, install Jeep fog lights on the GR Impreza. Um, I'm not a Subaru channel, but I am a channel of just me. I'm Manny Marvelous. I hope you liked what you watched. If you did like it, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you would like to see next. Um, this is going to be my daily driver, the GR WRX. So I will be having it for the next foreseeable few years at least. Um, uh, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you do for every channel that you like to support. Because uh, I do like to do this. This is not something I get paid for. It's just something I like to do. It makes me feel accomplished. And it's just um, a little, I don't know, it's an aside. It's fun to do. Um, yeah. You guys like my little workspace? I spent some time organizing everything and now I have so much room. It's really nice. And with that I leave you uh, a marvelous adieu.